Welcome to VTC's video training series for Ableton Live version 7. My name is Steven Smith and we'll take a quick look now at some of the main features of Ableton Live. Currently we see what's called the Arrange View. I'm zooming out so we can see more. Here you see music going along from left to right, several tracks from top to bottom. This would be what we call your standard Arrange View, which is common in your digital audio workstations. This is all very familiar to many people. One of the main strengths in Ableton Live is the session view. Here we have the ability to combine musical ideas together. We have separate clips. We also have complete list of MIDI instruments we can play live. MIDI effects, arpeggiators, chord devices, correcting or transposing pitch, etc. And also audio effects. And this has a complete standard set of EQs, filters, dynamics processors like gates, compressors, etc. But additionally, some very powerful ones that are made specifically for beat based music, such as a beat repeat. We can also alternate uh, the use of devices with any audio units or VST devices that may be around. So, not only do we have a complete suite of devices available within Ableton Live, but we can also use plugins for audio devices and for audio effects. We have browsers to get to a complete set of musical ideas already shipped with Ableton Live. We can pre-test any of these just by simply clicking on them. We'll hear them. If we play back at the beginning, we can hear how the sounds in with the mix. I like it. Drag it over. Drop it. We got a new track. I'm going to remove their stop clips there. So now we can build new ideas, add those in any way we want to. Notice also that down here we have a complete mixer, volume controls. Take any sound, pan it around to left and right. Got track on and off or activate buttons, solo buttons, and record arm buttons for recording audio and or MIDI. Ableton Live also now includes such devices as instrument racks and drum racks. A very powerful feature of Ableton Live 7 is the new drum rack which we'll be looking at greater detail later on. It also includes several devices such as the Impulse and the Simpler. You can also activate other devices, Sampler, Operator, and the EIC or Essential Instrument Collection as your budget allows. And once we create these collections of ideas, we can capture it into our own arrangement Return back to the range view. I press the tab key. Following along. Notice we have a loop section here. Turn the loop on. Jump around for live performance. Jumping back again. Jump ahead. Once you have things over here in the range view, you can edit to your heart's desire, taking any of these sections you've created now and creating your own, essentially your own clips from the material you have on hand. So we can see here we have both audio and MIDI information. MIDI information here, audio waveforms there. We can edit and process these again with any of the devices on hand. You can choose a track, add in an audio effect, and it's automatically headed into work. So now the bass sound is being swept around left and right. So you can see you can have a lot of fun immediately with Ableton Live. So I hope you'll follow along now and we'll dig in and learn many of the details that will get you up and running quickly and having fun with Ableton Live 7.